overstand and understand me. Nobody practices multiculturalism except African people. Nobody practices multiculturalism except African people. Nobody practices multiculturalism except African people. Nobody practices it. Multiculturalism is a psychological weapon to brainwash black people into thinking the world cares about them as much as they care about themselves. Multiculturalism is a psychological technique used against politically uneducated black people to seduce you into thinking that the world cares as much about you as they care about everybody else. That's what multiculturalism is. If you disagree, show me the black presence in the Chinese neighborhood. Show me the black presence in the Chinese economy. Show me the black presence in the European Jewish community. Show me the black presence in the Arab community. Show me the black participation in the Anglo-Saxon community. Multiculturalism is a joke. And we're going to talk about the negative effects of multiculturalism, the social costs of multiculturalism against black people, the financial costs of multiculturalism against black people, the intellectual and cultural costs of multiculturalism against black people, the emotional costs of multiculturalism against black people, and the political costs of multiculturalism against black people. The snow bunny crisis is a form of multiculturalism. How is that helping us? The snow bunny crisis is a form of multiculturalism. How is that helping African people? The snow bunny crisis is a form of multiculturalism. How is that helping African people? Black men dating and marrying out the race. Black women dating and marrying out the race. How does the snow bunny crisis benefit black people. An interracial relationship is a multicultural relationship. An interracial relationship is a multicultural relationship. When I see black men go to Africa and become kings in Africa, that's multiculturalism. When you see a white man go to Africa, become a king, a traditional ruler in Africa. When you see a white man go to Africa and marry an African woman and become a chief of a village, you see white people go to Africa and get initiated into our sacred spiritual traditions. And now the white man is a priest of Ifa, a priest of Voodoo, a priest of Dogon, a priest of a kind that is blasphemy against the ancestors. That is blasphemy against the ancestors. That is blasphemy against the ancestors. Multiculturalism is a trap. Multiculturalism is a trap. Multiculturalism is a trap. Let's compare all the white men who go to Africa and become kings. Let's compare all the white men who go to Africa and become kings. Let's compare all the whites who get initiated into African sacred spiritual traditions. Let's compare the white priests and priestesses of African religion to what Meghan Markle went through in the Queen's Palace. Meghan Markle, mixed race African woman, goes and marries Prince Harry. She thinks she's going to be royalty. She marries Prince Harry. She thinks she's going to be royalty. And the whole world tells her, you're not royalty. Your son is not royalty. You have no claims whatsoever to the British throne by way of your African blood. Look at how the British dealt with multiculturalism in the family and look at how African people deal with multiculturalism in the family. Look at how the Queen of England dealt with Meghan Markle and look at how the kings of Africa deal with white folks who want to become part of the royal family. If you are not of the bloodline, you cannot join the royal family. If you are not of the bloodline, you cannot join the royal family. Let me ask you a question. When Meghan Markle and her son were denied their claim on the British throne, who condemned the Queen of England for saying that? 
who condemned the royal family of Britain? Why wasn't the queen called a racist? Why wasn't the queen called an imperialist? Why was it perfectly okay with the white world that Meghan Markle and her son were disowned by the royal family of Britain? Why did nobody protest on Meghan Markle and her son's behalf? Because multiculturalism is a game they run on black folks. Nobody else practices it. And the black church, the black church has really hurt African people because the black church has made, has deified multiculturalism. The black church has deified multiculturalism. The black church has deified multiculturalism. What do I mean when I say the black church has deified multiculturalism? The African-American masjid and the African-American church. The African-American masjid, the African-American church, the African-American kingdoms hall. The African-American kingdoms hall, the African-American masjid and the African-American church has brainwashed black people into thinking God wants you to be a multiculturalist. That's right. Black religion has brainwashed the black community into believing God wants you to be a multiculturalist. He wants you to be a colorblind multiculturalist. But when you study the Bible, for those of you who follow the Abrahamic narrative, if you study the Bible, God was a nationalist. God was not an integrationist. Over and over and over again in the Bible, certain kingdoms were told not to mix their seed with other kingdoms. Over and over and over again in the Bible, certain kingdoms were told not to mix their seed with other kingdoms. So how can you claim that God was a colorblind multiculturalist when your holy book clearly tells certain kingdoms, especially those who were blessed by God, not to mix their seed. So if God ordered the Holy Family not to mix their seed in the Bible, if God ordered the Holy Family not to mix their seed in the Bible, does that not mean that we should not mix our seed? Who is the Holy Family on the planet Earth? Who is the Holy Family on the planet? Who's the royal family on this planet? It ain't got nothing to do with the religion you belong to. The biggest lie ran on African people was you had to belong to a certain religion in order to become the chosen of God. That is a lie. The biggest lie told to African people that God chose a religion. No, no. God never chose any religion. God chose a people and the people God chose are the original people and the original people are African people. So if the Bible says that the chosen of God are not to mix their seeds with those outside of the royal kingdom, then why are African people mixing our seed with every other race of people under the sun. Why are we mixing our seed? Multiculturalism is a trap. And let me tell you why they want you to keep on mixing your seed. No disrespect to my mixed race African family. I consider you brothers and sisters on the same level, no different than any full-blooded African. No disrespect to my mixed race African brothers and sisters. I consider you brothers and sisters no different than any full-blooded African as long as you identify full time as an African. You have to be a full time African. I do not accept part-time Africans. You must be a full-time African. The reason why they want African people to mix your seeds with non-Africans, especially Europeans, but non-Africans, number one, number one, to reduce the amount of black people in this country who identify as black. 
Stay with me. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand. They are mixed racing black people out of existence. I'm going to say it again. They are mixed racing black people out of existence. I'm going to say it one more time. They are mixed racing black people out of existence. Now, some of you are going to say, Dr. Umar, you just said mixed race Africans are African. Yes, I did. But a lot of mixed race Africans don't identify as African. From 2000 to 2010, we saw the amount of Africans who call themselves mixed race on the U.S. census grow exponentially, grow exponentially from 2000 until Barack Obama's election. From the year 2000 to mixed race Obama's election, we saw the amount of blacks who disidentify from being African-American into being mixed race, multicultural, biracial, it grew up. So the more black people mix their seed, the, the smaller the amount of black people appear on paper. Listen to me. The more mixed race Africans identify as something other than African, the smaller our population appears to look in this country. I'll give you an example. According to the 2020 census, black America is 14% of the country. According to the 2020 census. The 2000 census, we were 17%. The 2000 census, we were approximately 17% of America. Right now, they're saying we're 14% of America. My question to you, what happened to that 3% of African Americans? What happened to the 3% of African Americans who mysteriously disappeared from the 2000 census, excuse me, from the 2010 census to the 2020 census? We went from 17% of America to 14%. What happened to the 3% of African Americans who disappeared between the 2010 census and the 2020 census? You know what happened to them? They became mixed racial and biracial. That's what happened to them. They became mixed racial and biracial. That's what happened to them. See, America is promoting interracial love to black people as a way of doing what? statistically exterminating you on paper. Did y'all hear what I just said? Statistical extermination. Statistical extermination. Statistical on paper. We're going to make it look like there's less black people in America than there really are so we can justify less resources, so we can justify paying less attention to black people. They are committing statistical genocide against blacks because if I can get black people to accept the fact that they're dropping by 3% every census, if I can get black people to believe their numbers are shrinking by 3% every census, I can start exterminating black people physically and nobody will even question me because I've already gotten black people to buy into the idea that their numbers are shrinking by 3% every year. Our numbers are not shrinking. The problem is more and more black people are identifying as mixed race and biracial. And a lot of them, a lot of them don't even have a white parent. Stay with me. Listen to me. This is the multicultural trap. A lot of Africans in America are calling themselves biracial who don't even have a white parent or a non-African parent. So how is an African-American getting away with calling themselves biracial when they don't even have a white parent? You know why? They have a white grandparent. They have a white grandparent. They are quadroon. They are identifying as quadroon. And then you have other Negroes who have one white great grandparent. 
They are identifying as Octoroon. So we got Octoroon Negroes in America. We got Negroes with one white great grandparent who are identifying as biracial. This is how much we hate ourselves. This is how much we hate ourselves. Stop saying African. Let me get rid of you. You don't come on my live and tell me what to do. Block. So you have Black people with a, a white great-grandparent who are calling themselves biracial. They don't look no different than me. They look just like Dr. Umar, but when they fill out the census, they're putting biracial because they have a white great-grandparent. That's an octoroon. And then you have Negroes with a white grandparent. 25% Caucasian blood and they think they're octoroon and they're calling themselves biracial. And the white man laughs. The white man laughs. The white man says, good. Let them keep on disidentifying from their race on paper. Let them keep on disidentifying from their race on paper. Let them keep on disidentifying from their race on paper so we can statistically exterminate them. We can render them a useless minority group. That's what they're doing. They're saying the reason we pay more attention to Hispanic is because there's more of them than you all. And then, but when you go into the Hispanic group, a lot of the so-called Hispanic are Spanish-speaking Africans who look just like Dr. Umar. Y'all see this game they running on us? They are dividing up the African population in America. They are dividing up the African population in America. They are dividing up the African population in America. Thank you for that, my brother. You just brought up a good point. You just brought up a good point. My brother just said, what about all the pretendians? My brother just said, what about all of the pretendians? My brother just said, what about all of the pretendians in the African-American community who don't consider themselves black? They consider themselves Native American. Let me tell you what the pretendians are doing. They are boosting the numbers of Native Americans. And by boosting the numbers of Native Americans by identifying as Native American, they are helping to eliminate our political power and strengthen the political power of the real Native Americans who do not accept or identify with the pretendian movement. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So the pretendians are dis disidentifying from race. Black Latinos are disidentifying from their race. And then we got mixed race black people as well as octoroons and quadroons with a white grandparent or white great grandparent disidentifying from their race, making our numbers look smaller and smaller until one day the white man is going to say, we don't have any more identifiable African Americans. Did y'all hear what I just said? I'm going to repeat it. Did you hear what I just said? I'm going to repeat it. Did you hear what I just said? I'm going to repeat it. The day is going to come. If we keep on mixing our seed, the white man is going to say, it doesn't look like we have any more identifiable African people in America. Even though they got all these light skinned Africans, even though they got all these mixed race Africans, even though they got all these light skinned Africans, even though they got all these mixed race Africans, the white man going to say, I don't see any more identifiable Africans. And even though we got millions of mixed race Africans and light skinned Africans, most of them don't identify as black. And since we don't have enough light skinned Africans and mixed race Africans to identify as black, we might as well remove black from the census. We might as well remove black 
as a population. We might as well remove black as a community. We might as well stop talking about black people. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, you have no idea the problems you are causing for us. You have no idea how you are supporting African genocide by not only mixing your seed, but disidentifying from your race. And let me also say to Africans who don't accept mixed race Africans, you part of the problem too. And I'm going to tell you why. For Africans who don't accept mixed race Africans, you part of the problem too. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you are trying to force mixed race Africans to disidentify from their race. And by you not accepting your own black brothers and sisters by virtue of having a white parent, you automatically reduce our numbers even further. You are also part of the problem because you are not understanding, overstanding and understanding that there is a statistical genocide at play on paper. There's a statistical genocide on at play on paper, a prelude to the physical genocide. 